What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back at it yet again with some brand new WWE action figure news, man. Again, as we approach San Diego Comic-Con, as we approach SDCC, the news is going to be popping up and popping up and leaks here and leaks there and reveals and all of these different things that we can probably expect to see more than likely at San Diego Comic-Con. So, I'm excited for it, man. Again, I wish it was live in person like, you know, like, uh, like we probably will be next year. But, you know, it is what it is, man. We gotta just roll with it. But we do have some epic news here today, and I'm excited to get into it with you and, and break down all of this news with you and, and just get straight into it with some brand new reveals, guys. So for today's leaks, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to dive into it. A huge shout-out to my man, Unstable1047, for coming through for us. Absolutely love my brother over there. So definitely give him a follow on Instagram, at Unstable1047. Absolutely appreciate him till forever. But today, guys, let's go ahead and dive in. Uh, WWE Elite Series 90 revealed right here. So breaking down the series, man, I'm just going to go one figure at a time that way you know i don't show the full wave here i'm gonna get on here and we're gonna break it down figure by figure so first off guys starting out we have wwe elite series 90 randy orton now i know a lot of people really enjoy the randy orton figures they're kind of figures that kind of shoot up in price right like i feel like i don't know it seems like we get a lot of them but we really don't and i feel like he's pretty good spaced out here i think the last one that we got was what elite series 79 i think or was it 78 I think Elite Series 78, that was a really good figure. You also had Elite Series, what, 67? So it seems like they put a good space amount between the Randy Orton Elite figures. And I'm a huge Randy Orton fan. I love Randy Orton to death, so I think that getting a new figure of him will be amazing. Hopefully the tattoos will still be great. Maybe we'll get some mic holding hands finally for our Randy Orton figure. And I'm hoping, as far as gear is concerned, I hope that it will be his WrestleMania gear in the white. I mean, right, that's what we want to see. So hopefully it'll be his WrestleMania gear. Maybe it won't be, but by the time that Elite Series 90 gets here, I feel like it will be deep enough, because we're only on Elite Series 86. This is a little ways away, so I, I guarantee that by the time we reach that Randy Orton, the WrestleMania gear will be fully, um, you know, available to be made, and it'll be easy to do, especially since Randy Orton's gear is pretty simple. So, there's Randy Orton, man. The next figure in the set is going to be Jey Uso. Now, one thing that is good about Jey Uso is that he will be updated, and maybe we can use him to make updated Jimmy Uso as well, because I'm gonna go ahead and give you a spoiler right here. Jimmy Uso Uso is not in the set, so it's not going to be like years past where, you know, in, a, in their first Elite, they had both of them in the series. In their second Elites, they had them both in the series. And then in the third set of Elites, they also had them both represented in the same Elite line. That is not how they're doing the Usos this time. So Jey Uso will be by himself. You guys know that Jimmy was on the shelf for a while with injury. Jey Uso became a big part of Roman Reigns and his storyline and television on Fox. So that is why we're getting a new Jey Uso. Should be really good. I expect, you know, updated head sculpt should be really nice. I hope to get some cool accessories and things of that nature, and hopefully his bottom half will be really sick to where we can just do a torso swap with a Jimmy Uso and make an updated Usos pairing if we would like to. We've all been waiting on some black gear Usos, like black and white gear. We've had their white and red, red and white, but we really want to see some black and white gear. Hopefully we'll get the black gear, and then we can switch it with some Jimmy Uso parts and make an updated Usos until we get updated Jimmy. So, we'll have to see about that. I do have Elite Series 91 getting revealed tomorrow so stay tuned for tomorrow's video man elite series 91 will be revealed and you guys do not want to miss that so elite series 90 is going to have randy orton jay uso which should be a really great figure can't wait to see what accessories again and the gear we get maybe some cool cloth goods as well the next figure in elite series 90 is going to be mustafa ali now a lot of people absolutely love his elite 69 figure his first elite and it was really good the only problem i had with it was that his head sculpt was oversized it seemed like they couldn't get the head Head size right and he looks a little bit off so now that we have uh now that we have his first elite out of the way his next gear should be really sick i expect to see some cool gear you know we never got like his first version you know the first you know how he first looked when he was on 205 live with the like shirt like the pentagon-esque shirt and then he had his tights on there with the kick pads and stuff we only got him with his shirtless look which we absolutely loved you know he had sort of the iron man-esque vibe going on with the with the vest and he had his blast effect hand and he had his mask and everything so Mustafa Ali his next figure should be elite man it's going to be a great figure I can guarantee that Mustafa Ali will be really really good and again hopefully they fix that head sculpt hopefully you know I I'm guaranteeing he'll either be like a pissed off longer hair looking Mustafa Ali or it will be you know it'll definitely be a great head sculpt I can't wait to see and I just uh, all I ask for is that it's the correct size that's really all you can do really and again we'll probably get render images of this stuff at Comic Con you know we'll have to play that by ear and see 
see that. I would guess that Elite 87 should be in stock before Comic-Con. That way that, you know, Elite 88, Elite 89, and Elite 90 will probably be render images or even prototypes of Elite 88 and then render images of 89 and 90. So we'll have to see about that. But Mustafa Ali should be a great figure, man. And that is the third figure in our set. Now, moving forward, guys, we have Big Boss Man. Big Boss Man making a return to the Elite line. Haven't seen him in a while. I think we got him in what, like Elite? 14. We got him in Elite 47. And we have him here now. And then we had his network spotlight figure. So not a ton of things going on with Big Boss Man. And he's actually going to be the Chase variant, which I know it's probably going to get some uh, some frowny faces or some thumbs down here because a lot of people really probably would have liked to seen Randy Orton or Mustafa Ali as the Chase variant, especially when Mustafa Ali has all these crazy gears and things that he could wear. But Big Mo Boss Man is going to be the Chase. I don't know what they're going to change up. I don't even know if it's it's going to like what specific gimmick it's going to be for Big Boss Man. So we'll have to see about that. I would guess it would probably be, oh, uh, I don't know. It'll probably be another Attitude Era Big Boss Man if I had to guess, but who knows? You know, you never really know. You can never really scale it. So we'll just have to see about that. We do know that we got that recent battle pack with Big Boss Man. So I'm not sure if it, it'll just be an updated Elite or where they're going there. We'll have to wait and see. But Big Boss Man is getting another Elite in Elite Series 90. And he is the Chase variant, which again, probably not too hyped about it. But we'll just see how it goes. I don't want to, you know, jump off the wagon too quickly. You never know with these figures. It could be excellent. So we'll have to see about that. Moving on up, ladies and gentlemen, we have Bronson Reed. Yes, Bronson Reed is going to get his elite figure here. And I don't think he's scheduled to get a basic before his elite. I want to say this is going to be his first figure, unless I'm mistaken. Maybe I, I, now that I'm saying that, I feel like he already has like a basic on pre-order right now. So we'll have to see about that. But should be a really fun elite figure. You know, they do pretty good with the bigger guys. So hopefully he'll be able to pose around, do all the good things, and I don't know what gear it'll be or anything, but Bronson Reed should be a pretty fun elite figure. You know, he's not my favorite talent ever, but I still think that it'll be a really good figure, and I know a lot of people that will be hyped to get a Bronson Reed, and everybody's always hyped to update their rosters and get guys in there to fill out the rosters and the guys that we're missing and people that are, you know, predominantly on television and stuff like that. People love to update that. Even though this is still a little ways away, I know that people are going to be hyped about getting a Bronson Reed figure, so there is that. And then the last figure in Elite Series 90, not including the Collector's Edition, is going to, I don't know what I just said, is going to be Reckoning, yes, Reckoning, which I guess, you know, this is kind of, uh, I don't know, I, I don't know how you guys feel about Reckoning, but Mia Yim will be getting a WWE Elite figure in the non-Mia Yim gimmick, so it will be Reckoning, I'm excited to see how they do it, hopefully it'll be a way where they can do both gimmicks in one, if you want to have Reckoning with her gear on and her mask and all that stuff, you can do that, but if you remove the gear and all of that, it could it could probably pass as a Mia Yim figure. So hopefully that will be something that we'll be able to do with the figure. But having a Reckoning there, we do know that we have the basic Mia Yim. But getting the Reckoning figure will be interesting. And if they're making Reckoning, guys, wouldn't you think that the rest of Retribution is going to be coming? Even though they're not even really a thing anymore, I feel like that will be a thing. It's just so crazy to think about how we had this full team, this full stable of characters. And now they're just nowhere to be seen and it's just garbage. And it's like, why did we even do this in the first place? Like, it's wrestling's insane with the with the start and stop pushes and the things that they, that they give us on television, man. Just absolutely crazy when it means absolutely nothing. So, there is Reckoning, guys. And as far as the Collector's Edition goes, I'm actually not at liberty right now to discuss the Collector's Editions for this series, guys. So, uh, right now, it is going to be kept a secret. So, we'll just have to see about that. Maybe they'll reveal that at Comic-Con or maybe something like that or anything like that, you know. So, we'll just have to play that by ear and see what comes of it. But at the end of the day, very overall series. I like this series a lot. I think it looks pretty banger, if you ask me. Running through it one more time, Elite Series 90, Randy Orton, Jey Uso, Mustafa Ali, Big Boss Man as the Chase, Bronson Reed, and Reckoning. But I think that is pretty much going to wrap up today's news video, guys, and WWE Elite Series 90. If you guys want to see WWE Elite Series 91, let me know down in the comment section below because I do believe that is coming tomorrow. So turn on your bell, stay tuned, and that will be uploaded in the morning or tomorrow early. So get ready for it. And uh, I'm excited to showcase it to you guys. I'm really hyped for not only 90, but 91. Getting me hyped for 100, man. It's kind of crazy. But before we get out of here, guys.
guys. Let's get into a random shout out. And this shout out is going to go to Unlimited Action, who says this should be a series called Let's Discuss It. That would be a great hit. And then somebody said, My Damn Discussions, maybe. Mr. Awesome said, My Damn Discussions, maybe. So if that's something you guys would be interested in, let me know down in the comments section below. And uh, maybe we can make that a series where we just kind of get on here and then hit, you know, just, just uh, discuss things. But I've always thought about doing My Damn Thoughts or whatever that was or whatever the case was. But, anyways, guys, I'm getting out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. And don't cross the line like Big Boss Man as the chase figure. You cross the line. I've been beaten, broken down.